guys, it's Ray and today we're talking about frequently asked questions about Epcot. Okay, so Epcot is my second favorite par park. It is so much fun. I love it because you got the countries and you got Future World and it blends perfectly right together and I love it. So, let's get started. Question one, what does Epcot actually stand for? Epcot stands for Experimental Prototype Community of Tomorrow. So, Epcot was basically Walt Disney's idea and he wanted to have like a modeled community with um and that's why it's in like a circle and people could just go to school and things like that and have like the perfect little lives just in that area and just have their self-sufficient little city um so yeah that's what his original idea was but now oh, he changed his idea and it was to showcase the world's like ingenuity and show how well the American free enterprise works, the ma imagination, the free enterprise system. So it's really cool because Epcot is always supposed to be innovating and changing and it's really neat. And if you ride the land ride, which I really love, I like that ride, it's very interesting. A lot of people don't really care for it because it's informational, but you can see that Epcot is more than just a theme park. There's like a ton of experimenting and finding new solutions and things at Epcot. Like they're trying to find better ways to grow things. It's stuff like that and it's really neat. And you should ride the land ride because I like it. And it's like 15 minutes long, but it's super cool. Okay. Okay, so next question is what are the best fast passes to get? The best fast passes to get, I love getting... Um, Mission Space, The Character Spot, and Test Track. Those are the three I always get. Mission Space is super fun. There's green or there's orange, and orange is a little bit more intense. And if you have motion sickness, go on the green. But they'll warn you about that a ton of time before you go. So if, even if you forget, you'll know to go on the green. And I like going on that one because it can typically get kind of a long wait and it's just easy to get the fast passes for. So I like getting that one because it's like the third best ride in Epcot. Then I like getting the character spot because you can meet Mickey, Manny, and Goofy all there in the character spot. And that's just really quick and simple. And they're all just wearing their original outfits and it's great. So I would recommend that. Also I get a test track because I am a test track girl. That's my favorite because you can design your own car and you get to test. The durability, um, efficiency, power, and I always forget the last one. But you get to test a bunch of different factors and basically you're competing with other cars in your car that you ride in, which is kind of weird. But uh, it's really cool and, and at the end you get a final score and some people get the best score of the day. And yeah, it's cool. I really like that one. Um, you're just trying to get the best car you can possibly. I also, yeah, that's super fun, so I like that. But Soren, okay, so me and Soren don't really have, aren't that great. Like, okay, so I like Soren, which I know a lot of you guys are like, oh my gosh, Soren's my favorite, which a lot of people love it. But it's just kind of boring for me because it's just like an IMAX movie, and basically you're just in like your hang glider, and yeah, it's cool because you get to smell the smells, but. I've already seen it like a thousand times and it's always like the same. Does that make sense? So, well, everything's basically the same, but it's always just like the same movie. But they're changing it up! They're adding more stuff. So, they're gonna add like uh, more Soren, like different versions of Soren coming soon. So, that would be fun. I'm excited to do that. But, um, so Soren and I are just like whatever. But I usually get a baby switch for that because the lines are really long on Soren. But, okay, so if you can't, because you're not allowed to have Test Track and Soren, you can only pick one or the other. So, when you get into the park, if you have one Fast Passes, you have to book it to whichever one you don't have. Now, maybe I would probably get Soren because Test Track is easier to get to because Soren is in the land and you have to like go different directions, but, um, yeah, so maybe I would get Test Track if I had that scenario. So, yeah. Okay, so next question. 
is hmm, what characters are there okay so characters it's really cool because Epcot has a ton of different characters and they have like basically they have my favorite Belle she's in France she's in her blue dress you know or, or kind of like her village dress I guess but it's so pretty and then there's Aurora and she's in her pink dress yes there's Snow White um, Donald and his sombrero in Mexico which is super cool I really like that because I don't know you just like with his three amigos you know oh by the way you gotta ride the Donald ride in Mexico because that one's really fun um yeah so then there's Mary Poppins and Alice and Jasmine and Aladdin I really like going to see Mary Poppins she's one of my favorite characters to meet because I always just love her but um yeah she's always in her really pretty white like dress with red accents and her parasol it's really pretty and I like it a lot so yeah she's in London or London I mean England that little section so it's really nice I like it and there's a ton of characters to meet at Epcot but if you're trying to save time I recommend doing this so going to our next question is there character dining <gasps> yes there's character dining so <laughs> my favorite so you can go to Askerchus, I'm probably saying that wrong, but whatever, Askerchus Royal Banquet Hall, which is really cool, and basically you have character dining, but it's with all the princesses. I mean, like, all the princesses. And that is my favorite, and especially when I was a little girl, when I was seven, I absolutely loved it, and we took so many pictures of all the princesses, and it saves you a ton of time, because that means you get all of them out of the way in like an hour as opposed to like waiting for them in lines. So that's kind of like your money's worth there. But I really like it and we're breaking out the 2007 photo album to show you some of my faves. So when I was there in 2007, they had Belle as a featured princess and uh, basically you could get pictures of her and it was a backdrop and it was really cool. But I don't have that portfolio, oh, portfolio. It's like a bunch of like photo book out that they gave with it and it's really neat and it's really like professional but I don't have that with me right now but it's okay so you can see that there's like here's Aurora sorry there's plastic but you can see Aurora and she's really it's fun and then and then that was 2007 and I had like Snow White, Mulan which is pretty and like Jasmine all those characters and it was super cool and I liked it a lot it was super fun and just in case you were wondering this is what I mean with Mary Poppins throwback it's super cool but yeah you got to bring your auto book autograph book handy for that so yeah you better do the character dining if you have little girls because trust me they'll remember it forever and they'll absolutely love it okay um next question what is the best place to eat Okay, so I usually eat in Germany because I'm German. I'm like half German, so I really love German food. And in Germany, they have the German buffet at the beer garden, and it's so good. Oh, there's like a ton of different meats. There's a bunch of space low, which is so good. There's pretzels. Oh my gosh, it's my favorite. But you can also, a lot of people love Italy. They have like the same thing in Italy. They have the Italian buffet. Um, also, the French food is super good. If you've noticed that, it's really good. And I always, I'm like in my last vlog, I like getting like French desserts because they're really awesome. And all the Disney food is like authentic because they bring in chefs from like Germany and France and all that stuff to give you really good food. And Mexico I hear is really good too, but I never really go to Mexico because I'm from Texas and that has a ton of Mexican stuff. So yeah, I always eat, I like eat Mexica, Mexican food like all the time. So, but I hear it's really good. Okay. So, next is, is there a night show? Yes, there's illuminations, which is really pretty, and I love all the fireworks. And it's just a really pretty show. That's the best word to describe it. It's like majestic. So, yeah, illuminations is really nice, and you could basically be anywhere on the world showcase and see all of it, which is neat. Okay, is, what shows are there at Epcot? Okay, so there's the... Canadian Lumberjack Show, which is new, and basically it's like Canadians, um, 
just like doing a bunch of cool stunts. And then there's also the acrobats and I think it's Chinese acrobats. It's a lot of cool stuff and then sometimes there'll be like drummers and people just drumming, drumming out. It's, it's really neat. There's a bunch of different shows in Epcot and you just kind of like walk around and you'll see a bunch of them. Okay, so yeah, that's it. And thanks guys for watching. This is kind of a really long video. I don't know why. It's probably because Epcot is like my fave to talk about. But thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to my channel because I like it when you guys subscribe. And if you've already subscribed, high five because that's awesome. Um, <laughs> bye guys. Thanks for watching.